We'll have to see. According to Video Game Chronicles' newest podcast, simply called VGC, Andy Robinson on there stated that Konami is planning to have a quote-unquote pretty big presence at E3 this year. And they stated that they would announce a remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 and a new Castlevania game in some form. Now, they did elaborate in a couple ways with this rumor that they just kind of proposed out there that the Metal Gear Solid 3 remake will be a kind of test bed to see how people take to them touching Metal Gear, as I'm sure they know people love Metal Gear. Um, I, I am fortunate it's not one of them, but people really die hard love Metal Gear Solid, so like people don't want to see it messed with. I think they want to kind of release this and see like how people are feeling, if people are very excited, and they will be because no one actually cared when uh, what, what happened between Hideo and Konami happened happened. Like People said they did, but if they never left, no one would have cared. People would have still bought their games. People have ignored worse. So um, We'll have to see uh, if this comes true. I do believe it, although we have heard Metal Gear rumors for a very long time. A very long time. So we'll have to see if this is actually true. And Castlevania, oof, that's exciting. There were literally no details other than a new Castlevania game. What does that even mean right now? Is it a Lord of Shadows type sequel-ish thing? Not sequel, a spiritual successor type thing. Is it going to be a 2D game straight up and they're going to try and remake something? Are they going to see if they can make a Symphony of the Knife type game where it's kind of 2.5D, but we're still kind of using Pixel? I don't know. We'll have to see. This is going to be a very weak rumor. This is coming from Giant Freaking Robot, which is as an, is an entertainment reporting site. It has an all right track record of leaks and rumors. Um, I've never heard of them, but I did read around that they have gotten things right, but like they've gotten things wrong. So who knows if this is even true? They did say there's going to be a Hogwarts Legacy TV show. It's currently in development at HBO Max. I'm not going to run with this. Um, the light details were light to say the least. So I... Don't imagine this is real. It did seem kind of strange. Uh, it almost is if they're taking advantage of a very popular game that um, they can use for SEO farming for ads and things. I don't honestly believe it. Um, but of course, who am I to judge? I could be completely wrong and it could be real, but it just seemed odd timing and uh, seemed um, seemed odd timing to to uh, to just this random website and uh, I don't just try to blindly believe people, but I did want to bring it to everyone's attention just in case. Speaking of WB, and they had an earnings call today, and they stated that there's going to be a Mortal Kombat mainline entry this year. Of course, this is Mortal Kombat 12. Uh, very strange, as there has been no communication before this. So when I heard this, I don't know if you, uh, Chivers, you heard this prior to, to me reporting on this, but my mind immediately went to two things. One, is this a... Uh, is this an example of an executive kind of just blowing things up out of proportions, right? Because he, he's talking to investors, right? That's what an earnings call is. You're talking to investors. You're telling them how good everything's going. You generally try to make anything bad sound good um, because you want your stocks to go up, not down. Uh, so is this an example of that? Of him just talking and just being like, hey, yeah, we're, we should be getting that soon. And he's just looking at a, a, a like a bullet point on his piece of paper slash slide reel of Mortal Kombat should be coming this year and Nether Realms next to it. And they're like, yeah, it should be. Maybe. I don't you know. We're kind of sure we don't really talk to them. They kind of just do their own thing and report back to us. Um, I saw people were very shocked at this. I would say I'm shocked, but not like, whoa, another Mortal Kombat. I mean, we're going to see another Mortal Kombat game from these people. I think people are just surprised we haven't heard anything. I would actually love if if they did that. I, I wish get more games would do that, where they kind of have like a six month window of kind of announce and then come out. That'd be really cool. Fallout Four did that when it came out. Um, so that would be really nice. We'll have to see. I don't know if um if we'll actually see it this year. This is obviously up in the air. Who knows? Uh, Netherrealm can do literally whatever they want. They're kind of in the Naughty Dog status uh, with PlayStation. And, uh, of course, they are with WB. Um, whereas they can they can do whatever they want. If if they want to take another year, they, they WB will be like yes sir, and they'll just kind of bow out. So we'll see. And that's rumor roundup for the week. Let's start the show. Now, of course, there was a PlayStation State of Play. This 